Hey, 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 checking in, checking in, checking in. All right, I'm getting ready for that glamp out. I got my boots. I got some jeans. I wasn't able to get a hat, but I'm working on that. But we're here at Birds in Melbourne, and I have the lovely... Sarah. Sarah is the one to help me out. And um, if you guys have anything you want to get for Western wear, I recommend you come down here to Birds in Melbourne. I think Elizabeth got scared. She went to the <laughs> back. But everybody, if you see this young lady here, make sure you give her a shout out and come visit them. Peace. <laughs> Georgia, just outside of, I think, we, we just passed through Valdosta, but right there we go, Carol's Sausage and Country Store, right off of um, 75, we're going north, it was exit 82, pretty straight shot, so you can either, I think, pay for a spot, or you just pull in boondock style, that's what we're going to do, uh, we're Harvest Host mem members, so there was some availability we got in there, so we're about to get up in there. So that took about 15 minutes, really. We pulled in, got our spot. Basically how it goes, I guess. Again, there's a harvest host. Um, you can pull in and you settle, settle up in the morning. So, I mean, cause we got here after hours, normally you would check in and pay. But um, in this event, you come in, there's no reservation. So if there's a spot available, you get it. And they settle up with you in the morning. We are on site 18. And here goes the Cairo Sausage Country Store right there. I'm telling you right now though, I don't know if it's the time of year, but there's like a ton of gnats. So I'm gonna try to keep it moving, but the gnats are all over me. Anyway, so full hookups, right off of 75, exit 82, right there, bam. So Dara's hit another home run. So we pulled in, Dara's and Atina are inside. I just hooked up pretty much everything. We didn't unhook from the truck though. We're still hooked up to the truck, but got the power going, uh, sewer, water, and we're still, I got the stabilizers down and we're hooked up to the truck still. So when we get up tomorrow, whenever we decide to get up, we're gonna pull on out of here, but pretty cool. Basically first come, first serve. Um, and they have plans for look, way more sites. They're doing a lot of developing up there. Look at that. So, pretty straightforward. Again, off of exit 82 on 75, we're going north, heading to the glamp out. So, obviously, when you see this, the glamp out would have been done. Another successful shout out to Ashanti and Tomich. Uh, up in Ohio is where we're going. So, but yeah, we'll get a chance to go to Kentucky. We've not been to Kentucky yet, so we're going to Mammoth Cave. So, that's looking forward to that. But, all right, these nests are no joke. If you're from Florida, and if you're in this area by Carol's Sausage and Country Store, is these gnats specific to this area or this time? Because can't even come outside. So, going back inside. Oh yeah, so oh, let me go back on this side, my bad. Come around, here's your site. Again, we're on 18. Bam, got a little picnic table. We got the Starlink out. There goes Big Red and Mary Carmen in the background. Again, it's me, Doris, and Atina traveling on this trip. So we'll get more footage of us. But um, just want to once again say thank you to all the subscribers, all the uh, fellow YouTubers out there. Hope to see you guys at the Glamp Out. Hoping we have a really good time. We'll check in. All right, so guess what? We almost got locked in here. So <laughs> let's see. 
So we have we have bought a new, not new. I guess it's gonna be shoot, one or two years ago. We bought a, one of those automatic the key the keyless ones that has a code and everything. So anyway, when I came in, this was like so. All right, let's turn this bad boy around. So it's supposed to be. And if you see this, see this little handle. There's no nothing holding it in place. But what happened was there's a part from the inside that broke off. So it's supposed to attach to this handle and that gives it the leverage to push this to the left. So right now we can't open the door, but with the trusty dusty key that I just had, somebody wants to put some more in. Oh, here you go, right here. Bam. Here you go. Bam. Ghetto, right here. This lever. And we can we can get out. Yay! So guess who has a project? <laughs> I gotta fix this door. But I think we kept the old lock. So we'll put the old one in. Maybe call these people and see if they'll send us another one back. It is what it is. But RV life. Bam. So we'll check in. Hey! Look who, look who joined us. <laughs> there goes the beauty. So we're walking over to the Carol Sausage and Country Store. Um, yesterday, we left Florida. We left late. We left around about 2 o'clock. And the drive up here, basically, we took Turnpike North to 75 North and got us here. And what we, what we drive, about 4 or 5 hours, if that? Correct. Yep. So we got here. Doris was able to look up this place. It is a our first harvest host. So impressions on our first harvest host. What you got? Oh, it's pretty nice. Um, I like that it's convenient. It's right off um, the road 75 here. Um, just pulled in. We didn't have to unhook, but it did have four hookups, as you can see. So that's what I like about it. Um, we were able to run the water at full capacity so <laughs> can't beat that um i think they said on the website but we're going to check in because we got in here a little late that it's about um forty dollars for a full hookups and then they give you a ten dollar coupon to use in the store yep so that's what we're going to do we're going to go inside and patronize the store um and see if we get some footage in there so we will check in So we're inside Carol's. Uh, let me tell you something, this place is amazing. Um, a lot of local uh, type, you know, foods and stuff like that, but obviously they got the sauces going. And you got in here, you got all your fresh cut meat. We went ahead and got us some ribeyes. We're gonna try these out. Season them bad boys up today. Here's what you got. So they got lots of local honey, uh, things that are pickled, like peaches and stuff like that. Uh, really nice situation. So it's $40 a night. When you pay your $40, they give you a $10 coupon that you can use here in the store, which we're gonna do that. Um, shout out to Randy. He's the one that last night when we pulled in, um, he uh, explained to us how we do what we gotta do as far as uh, pulling in. And then, so he also obviously works here at the shop. He's the one that go ahead and provided us with our ribeyes today. So again, shout out to Randy. All right, we're gonna get back on this road and head towards Mammoth Cave, uh, Kentucky. We'll check in.
right spot. <laughs> Let me turn that other one off. All right, so we just talked to Mackenzie. She checked us in. And uh, yeah, we're in the right spot. At first, you don't think you're in the right spot because the GPS ends in the middle of the woods. So you just got to keep going and uh, good directions. Everything worked good. <laughs> All right. As you can see, guys, we got here. Nighttime in it, always. <laughs> we never show up in the daytime, but at least we got a little light outside. Just a little bit. It's, what time is it? 8.51 p.m. Ashanti, you guys are doing a great job. Everybody's having fun. I'm gonna pan it around. You're gonna see all these people up in here. We're about to get them cards for the, the real deal now. Say hey. Hey, all right, all right, all right. So again, you're doing a great job. We love you. Get on high up in there. Get on. Woo! I ain't no joke. 
Go ahead and do a little jump. Come on. Oh. <laughs> we can look it up for you. A guy sold us this for 100 bucks. He collects that. them. I need that guy's number. Because they're 50. Hey, hey, hey. What's up, Andy? Hey, everybody. Thank you for the happy Father's Day wishes. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great day. Checking in, checking in, checking in. How you guys doing? Hello. We are back at our home base in Florida. We are currently right now in St. Cloud, Florida at the lakefront. And it is hot. It is hot. I absolutely miss the Ohio weather. Oh yes, most definitely. But we just we just wanted to come back and uh, kind of talk before we uh, get into this video, just a little recap. Um, what I wanted to say is, um, just leading up, just even going to the glamp out, the energy, um, the excitement, um, everything that I was thinking about on the way, wondering, it all came to pass and it was great. So many different people that we met. Oh yes. Also, um, what I want to say is that um, this is actually our first meetup. So we've never been to a rally, we've never been to a big meetup. We've never been to their glamp out before, so um, this is our first. So um, it was pretty good for our first. It was amazing. So <laughs> the vision that Ashanti and Thomas had way back when they did their first one, I mean, it came to pass. I, there were so many people that um, we met or reconnected with, um, YouTubers, followers, uh, people that we just met, and then now we're subscribing to their channel. Oh, yeah. Um, so. I hope the video, our little video recap, kind of does it a little justice. We've seen plenty of recap videos, and in my opinion, they were all great so far. What do you think? Oh yes, we uh, we definitely wanted to get more footage, but we wasn't able to get more footage. We were just uh, caught up in ambiance of everything, and uh, we was mingling with people and reconnecting with people and talking to people for the first time and getting to know everyone around us. So therefore, uh, we didn't get as much footage as we want to, but we got a little bit of it. Yeah, we were in the moment, I'll be real. Oh, we, was we were in the, in the moment, yes. So who you, you, want, you want to shout out some special people? Yes, I wanted to shout out a, a couple people that um, actually helped us along the way this weekend. Well, the weekend at the Glamp Out. So um, the first one is um, Griffin and Trippin. Um, that's um, Kevin and um, Tyra. It was a pleasure meeting them. They were our neighbors down the block. Yes, they actually gave, uh, made us some um, seafood rice, which was awesome, and we thank you. And for the next glamp out, just FYI, we love to eat, so you can invite us to our, your campsite. So Absolutely, you yes. Yes. Um, Anthony and um, Danya. Oh, yeah. And that's rolling um, with them ribs. Rolling with those ribs. Um, they kept us fed the whole weekend. Yes, they did. Um, they had an awesome site. Also, Danya taught us how to um, um, do some stepping, some well, dance steps. Dars, not me. Well, me, the girl, she did. <laughs> so we really appreciate that, um, and uh, we appreciate you looking out for us this weekend. Yeah, the food was amazing. If you ain't checked out her channel, I think she got a cooking channel that's gonna be on regular yeah, TV soon. Yes, <laughs> yes. And then we're uh, Will and Cinderella, good friends of ours, yes, yes, laughing yes. out loud. Yep. Thank you for the lovely basket you gave me. I appreciate it. Well, you gave it to both of us. Yeah. But I appreciate it. And uh, Will was really cool reconnecting and hanging out with yeah, you. Yeah, we love hanging out with you guys. Yep. And then we had um, RV Life with Adrian and Ruth. Ruth and Adrian, y'all made Sunny dinner for us, and we really appreciate it. Longtime friends of ours, yep. um, they have a channel. All everybody that I'm shot now actually has a channel, so uh, check out their channel. But thank you, Ruth and Adrian, for um, feeding us on Sunday. And uh, Adrian, you did a good job breaking in that Blackstone. Um, Crystal and James, <laughs> they do not have a channel. However, they have a lovely rig. They invited us over to their site. They cooked for us. They made drinks for us. Even though we had just ate, we love your hospitality and uh, we thank you for all that you've given for us yeah, this weekend. That was our fourth ever camp, 
campfire sit around at their rig. So Correct. it was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah we had an awesome time. Yeah. Awesome time. And then we have um, Terry and Rochelle. Terry and Rochelle, they're new to camping. Um, they do not have a channel. Uh, they're new to the glamp out also, but we went and visited them uh, at their campsite. Uh, we had an awesome time. Great margaritas, and we appreciate it. And that was our first ever sit around catfire with a lot of people, and it was yeah, amazing. It was amazing, and uh, we had a blast that night with Lenny and Kim, yep. and um, Big Mac and his Big Mike, wife. Yep, Jessica, um, yeah. We had a great time sitting around with everybody. Yep. Um, and then we also have the real weekend warriors. Um, that's Vic, Vic and them pink panties. <laughs> and Corinne. <laughs> thank you, thank you. All right, so we finally made it. <laughs> here we got, we're here with Corinne and Vic, and we got the pink panties, y'all. We're about to toast that thing. Go uh, toast that thing. See what's going on. Go, go, go. Cheers. Cheers. I'm going to see what he, what he thinks. Uh-oh. All right, we're going to turn this uh -oh. off. Uh-oh. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> to the Real Weekend Warriors. Nice. Yeah. You're welcome. All right. Thank you. That was delicious. I told Jose, um, I'm not a drinker. But I think that's one that I could just put in my refrigerator and every, every once in a while just take out and have me a pink mm -hmm. panty. Um, I loved it. Great job. They had a great site. Great people. It was a pleasure meeting you guys. Yeah, it was. And we also want to give a special shout out. So I'm going I'm to go on. I'm the, trust me, I'm not an organizer of the Glamp Out. That's all Thomas and Ashanti. But I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to make the official mayor of the Glamp Out, <laughs> Sir Rich from Sir Rich Adventures and his buddy, uh rock yes sir rich visited everybody it was the first time we ever got to meet him really cool person loved his vibe so sir rich i am dubbing you the mayor of the glamp out right at last but not least thomas and, and ashanti, ashanti. We appreciate all the love that you give to everybody. We appreciate the time and effort it took to get the glamp out together. We have been in event planning before, so yes. we know the time and effort it takes and all that it takes to put all this together. And we appreciate it and we thank you. Absolutely, you guys um, are a blessing to all of us. Yes, you are. And your vision came true. Everybody mm -hmm. had a great time as evidence in all these recap videos that you guys are able to sit back and watch. Cause I know you were doing a lot and weren't able to capture a lot of things, but I know for, I know right now you guys are like checking out a lot of what you missed and you were right there in the midst of it at You're the same in the midst time. Of it. it was a yeah, great event, yeah. a wonderful event, and you get to see all your hard work pay off. Yes, and we're looking forward to that bash. Yes, we are. We everybody book the bash. Book the Orlando, bash. Florida. We're close. We're loving it. Yep. It's gonna be in Ocala, but we're kind of close to we're uh, close. yeah, we're close. So we're definitely gonna look out for everybody. Hopefully we see each other that we've met. Um, we'll watch your channels, we'll see your Facebook posts, hopefully we see each other on the road. Um, but it was truly, truly a, a pleasure to be a part of all of that. Oh yes. Um, like always, we'll, we'll check, check in. in.